Good day, everybody. I want to bring you this quick video um, to talk about the transpiration of news over the last 24 hours. We've lost um, an incredible wrestling person in Wyndham Portunda, aka Bray Wyatt, yesterday. Um, he was 36 years old. And he passed away from a heart attack after um, COVID um, weakened his heart and all that. Um, there's some reports from Sean Sapp says that he was on the mend, they thought, and he was getting ready for a return and all that. And they said a September day was likely. And he just had a heart attack yesterday and passed away again. He was 36 years old. Um, and so much love and support has been poured out um, by fans and colleagues and friends and such of um, Wyndham. Uh, I want to get on here and just give my thanks and gratitude for um, Mr. Rotunda, who brought one of the most compelling and sympathetic characters I ever got the pleasure of witnessing um, as a wrestling fan. Um, my love for wrestling goes back since about 2000 and um, there's not a few, there's only a few wrestlers I can name that made me feel the way Bray Wyatt did. Um, ever since Bray's debut in 2012 on the main roster, I didn't watch him in NXT. Ever since he debuted on the main roster, he just had a captivating aura about him. Um, anything he did, you could tell he did. He put his one to types. No matter what you gave him, he poured his heart out into it. Um, like Team Mocking, like Cody Rhodes does that as well, he did that as well. Um, most Bray Wyatt, he was a special. Everything he did was just unique. Um, he came to the main roster as the cult leader, Bray Wyatt, with the famous Wyatt family of Luke Harper and Eric Rowan. Rest in peace, Bertie Lee, as well, slash Luke Harper. Um, he, he debuted the, that group with them. And it was something that we hadn't seen before, a cult leader in WWE. <clears throat> and they had pretty good success. Their feud with The Shield was, was like none other. And... Anytime Bray Wyatt got to a match or a promo, um, no matter if he was being booked bad or not, Wyndham Rotunda made it seem like he was the focal point of whatever he tried to do, which is good. Very good. His promos were mystical, um, calculated, um, and they were out of the box, and that's unique. He made you listen to every single word, and even though some didn't make sense to us, he made sure that we listened. Um, but the Corey Bray Wyatt was the tenure of his career in WWE. He went on to face, like, he faced John Cena, he faced The Undertaker at WrestleMania, and he had good feuds. Granted, his championship gold does not, it's not lengthy. His impact on the wrestling sport is synonymous, and it's very prevalent. Um, but he ended up being, he ended up reinventing himself, becoming the fiend which was something unprecedented at the time, which is he essentially played two characters 
in one persona. He was what they call Mr. Rogers, the Five Five Funhouse, Bray Wyatt. And he was also the Fiend, Bray Wyatt, from 2018-2021, I think it was, for the Fiend's run. Um, the Fiend was like nothing that we had ever seen. Everything they did for the Fiend was spectacular. Aside, aside from the Seth Rollins Hell in a Cell match, um, and he got beat by Goba. But aside from that, the Fiend and the Firefly Funhouse Bray Wyatt characters were fantastic. The Firefly Funhouse was so imaginative, and the Fiend was truly terrifying, and you felt terror for the opponents of the Fiend no matter what or who he faced. But the Fiend was just eerie, captivating, and um, it was just fantastic to see and watch. <clears throat> then in 2021, Bray Wyatt getting released um, from Derby, and then he came back in October, November 2022. Well, I believe it's 22. Yeah, um, the dates are not my favorite thing to remember sometimes. I can't remember some dates. But he came back at Extreme Rules, I think. No. He came back at Survivor Series, I believe it was. Sorry. Anyway, he came back. That's all that matters. And that synonymous entrance with the door and stuff. The pop he got was just fantastic. And then his only feud and his last feud, sadly, was with LA Knight. And they had a fantastic feud. The promo battles were very good. Um, it kind of made LA Knight a presence himself. And then it led to the Royal Rumble. Um, pitch black dark match, I think pitch black match, which was a gimmick match for Mountain Dew, which is saw them wrestle in neon and a no DQ match in neon lights. Um, and while this match was not heavily praised, it will go down in infamy as Bray Wyatt's last match. Um, Unfortunately, this will be the last match that Bray Wyatt ever had on television. I believe he had a dark segment one time shortly after that where him and Uncle Howdy, which was his real life brother, Bo Dallas, they took out Kit Row, I believe. So, LA Knight was his last pay per view televised match, and possibly and if that Hit Row segment was after that. They were the last people to fight or encounter Bray Wyatt. Um, this is a quick rundown of his history. And it's a pretty long history. Um, he's just, he's made such an impact in the wrestling community with his creativity, his uh, psych in-ring psychology, his method to his, his, um, method to his madness type of thing. He was just fantastic to watch and listen to and he was such he was so much fun to keep up with to try and decipher especially the um, QR codes and all that was just different um, and yeah Bray Wyatt will be missed on Wyndham Rotunda or will be definitely missed and I just um, I'm shocked I'm sad by the news um, we lost Cody Funk as well the um, day before yesterday, as, 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 of, as of this posting, the day before yesterday. And that was tragic as well because Terry Funk was a legend um, in his own right. Um, did not want to forget the, uh, the Terry, Terry Funk family, but Bray Wyatt's a death. When you were when the Mutanda's a death, it impacts me and everybody watching because he was active in wrestling. He was, we were eagerly awaiting his return. They said leak 
September, it should have been September 10th, I believe. And now we don't have that. We have to mourn his passing instead of excitingly await his return. It's sad. Um, but, um, people are talking about sharing pictures of him, him and Brother Lee together in heaven. Statements like that, that gives me a lot of solace and gives me a lot of comfort. So I know Brody's death rocked him hard, very much, very much so. Um, so it's good that they're reunited again. But um, I just want to, I just pray for when we return his family, the friends, the um, Eric Rowan and Braun Strowman, um, wife, family members, only two of them are left. And it's wild to think about that, because all four of them were relatively young, and now only two of them are alive. It's it's wild. Um, but yeah, I just want to hop in real quick and just talk about Bray Wyatt a little bit, William Rotunda. Um, just share my condolences and post and grieve with the wrestling community, because we lost a fantastic human being and a fantastic performer. And there will never be another one like him, unfortunately. So, um, thank you for watching this. Feel free to leave your Bray Wyatt comments below. And I'll talk to you guys soon.